Hello, my name is Phil Walker and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Alberta studying woodland caribou in northern Ontario. My project is primarily looking at the nutritional resources that are available to caribou during the late spring calving period until late fall. Previous research on woodland caribou has primarily been focused on predation risk and the impacts that predators have on the population dynamics. In my opinion, there has been limited focus associated with the impacts that nutritional resources may have on the health and survival of woodland caribou, and particularly how that may impact their vulnerability to predation. To quantify the nutritional resources available for caribou, we conducted extensive field work during the summers of 2017 and 2018. During that time, we sampled 141 plots in northeastern Ontario and 371 plots in northwestern Ontario. At each sampling plot, we clipped by species in six 2 meter squared plots from 2 meters to 1 centimeter above the ground and dried and weighed the vegetation to get species-specific biomass. To evaluate what caribou would actually select based on these vegetative plots, we conducted foraging trials using tame caribou and 79 temporary pens in northwestern Ontario. Foraging trials were conducted on four female caribou in each pen for the duration of one to two days. Each individual was observed for one and a quarter hours per day, which resulted in 545 hours of foraging trials where approximately 430,000 bites were documented. We then quantified simulated diets based on the proportion of bites per species that were determined during the foraging trials, which resulted in 313 simulated diets. Additionally, at vegetation plots and caribou pens, we obtained species-specific vegetation samples to be able to determine the changes in forage quality based on season, vegetative community, and cereal stage. This resulted in 1,001 samples in northwestern Ontario and 501 samples in northeastern Ontario for a grand total of 1,815 samples to be analyzed. To ensure that these forage samples did not deteriorate, they were collected in freezer bags, stored on ice, and transferred into freezers. At the end of the field season, all forage quality samples were transported on dry ice to the Wildlife Habitat and Nutrition Laboratory at Washington State University. Once at the lab, nutritional detergent assays were conducted to determine the energy, fiber, protein, and tannin content of our samples. Due to the large volume of samples that we have being analyzed at the lab, it is going to take at least a year for the samples to be conducted. And it's speculated that we may get these forage results by the end of January 2020. Specifically with the funding provided by the Garfield Weston Fellowship, we were able to quantify the crude protein for 575 samples. This contribution made it possible for us to analyze the protein content of every sample that we collect in the field. By analyzing species-specific protein content, we have the best opportunity to accurately determine the nutritional quality of various vegetation types and communities. The data acquired by this funding will provide a better understanding of the nutritional resources available across the landscape and how caribou respond to the spatial and temporal variation in these nutritional resources. It is through the support of agencies like WCS Canada and the W. Garfield Weston Foundation that makes this research possible. So thank you. I truly appreciate your support.